Hey everybody, Greg Dingrando here from Pikes Peak Regional Building. We've got an important announcement for you regarding our website. About a year ago, we launched a brand new contractor dashboard with an enhanced design and additional features. We left the old dashboard available so you could sort of ease into the new dashboard, but it's time for that old dashboard to go away. Yes, we know the new dashboard is a little bit different, but it's also a lot better. I think it's going to make a huge difference. I mean, some of the feedback I've already received from contractors using the new dashboard has been great. Um, they love the way it looks. They love the way um, you know they can navigate through all the new different tabs that are that are on there. Some have even said it saves them time while they're you know trying to request inspections, looking at permits, trying to look up fees that are due maybe on some plan review and things of that nature. Yeah, and when it comes to contractors' time, it's it's huge for them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you know the old saying, time time is money for these guys. So as busy as all of our contractors are and as busy as this jurisdiction is, I know with all the construction going on, I mean, any little bit of time that they can save is extremely valuable to them. And this new dashboard is going gonna, is gonna to be able to help, help them do that. Despite the improvements, there are still a lot of contractors not using the new dashboard for whatever reason. So to help, we're going to take you through a few of the common uses of our website and the big differences between the old and the new and improved dashboard. So one of the first things that you're going to notice different about the new dashboard is that it just flat out looks a whole lot better. It's broken down into a series of buttons and a lot of information that you see right on the home page rather than having to hunt for it. If we go to the old dashboard, you can see there's a lot of information right there, but there's a lot of that's missing. So you actually have to hunt through some of these drop down menus. The old dashboard utilizes a lot of these drop down menus. So you kind of have to hunt through the dashboard's drop downs to really find what you're specifically looking for. Whereas over on the new site, it's a series of buttons. So it specifically says inspections, permits, plans. So all those buttons that you see there, they're mainly geared towards things that are happening right now, your current inspections, your current permits, and your current licenses. Whereas over on the left, this is actually kind of an area for kind of what I would say action items and maybe future action items. So like start a project, that's one of the first things you see there. A little bit different look, but in our opinion, it's a better look. It's a lot cleaner and it's a lot more consistent with the rest of our website and it's also a lot more user friendly. The second thing that we want to point out is the differences when it comes to the warnings that we have in place. On the old system, we have basically color blocking. You can see here, yellows and reds. The blocks up in the upper right there, green is for good, yellow is for attention, and red are for items that are expired. If you were to have a lot of items there, basically you would just have a whole huge block of yellow, and it just wouldn't really stand out all that well, and it could be easily overlooked. Whereas over on the new dashboard, we have what's set up what we're calling as a bubble system. And we think that the bubbles stand out a whole lot more. And not only does it point out that there's an issue when it comes to licensing, it actually shows how many issues need to be addressed. So you see the yellow number three there, that shows that there are three items under licensing that need to be addressed soon. And then there are two items under licensing that need to be addressed right away. So let's click on licenses. Then you get a list. You can see down under obligations and insurance, you can see those three items there. Those are three items that are about to expire coming up on early 2020. So those are the three items that need to be addressed soon. Then you have the items in red. Those are clearly items that have expired back on 1-1-2019, all items that need to be addressed immediately. So the next set of changes that we wanna talk about are regards to managing your license. So on the old dashboard, you would have to come to the homepage and then click on license. From here, you get a whole lot of information. Not all this information is really information that you're gonna use on a regular basis. So you actually have to kind of get in there and hunt for the things that you're gonna need on a daily basis. So as you can see, the text is kind of small and the page is really cluttered up with a lot of that extra information. Whereas over on the new page, click on licenses and you get the really the important part, the stuff that you're gonna need more on a daily basis right there on the first page. And then if you wanted to get into the more detailed stuff like the users, you can click on that button there and then you get another set of information. It looks a little bit better and it's a little bit easier to kind of distinguish. If you wanted to make a change to some of the web users, you would just click on that button there and then you get a pop-up rather than taking you to a different page. Pretty easy to navigate through. Whereas over on the old dashboard, if you wanted to make a change to one of those associates, you would actually have to click it, then click edit. That takes you to an entirely different page. You would make the changes there, 
then save changes. And if you wanted to make those same changes to a different associate, that whole exact process, you would have to do the whole thing over again. So over on the new dashboard, again, back to those pop-up windows. They're a whole lot easier, very easy to change, much more user-friendly, and again, the page just looks a whole lot better. Perhaps the biggest set of changes and perhaps the biggest improvement to the new dashboard comes into play when you're taking a look at current inspections. On the old dashboard, if you didn't have it set up to specifically get an email when an inspection is actually rejected, you wouldn't have any indication at all. You would actually have to come to your dashboard and then go to permits and then scroll down to inspection activity and then you would get a list of your current inspections and that's where you would actually see an R or a P. And when you're looking at this, it really doesn't stand out because it's all the same color all the way across. In this case, there's only two, but imagine if you had 20, 30 inspections open at the same time. So if we expand the time on this, you get a longer list here. You get some R's, you get some P's, you get some C's, and they all kind of run together. It's all jumbled together. Whereas on the new site, it really stands out a whole lot better. You don't even have to click on inspections and you can see right there that red one, that's indicating that there is an inspection that needs your attention for something immediately. So we click on inspections and then within the past 15 days, you can actually see there's a permit there, right there in red, this permit has a failed inspection. It gives you the permit number, it gives you the address, it makes it very easy to indicate which permit actually failed an inspection, you can get right out there and fix it immediately. The last thing we want to talk about is definitely the number one thing that we get questions on, and that's how to upload images. On the old dashboard, basically what you would have to do is you would come in here and hit on permits, and then scroll down, but in this case we're going to search by permit number. We've already pre-selected one, so you plug that in there and then you're going to slide over and you would click on upload inspection image and that would take you to this page. You would fill this out and attach those images there. On the new page, basically you would search over on the left side, hit search permits, and again you can do it by address or by permit number. In this case we're going to do permit number. So we'll plug that in and it takes you to this page, a lot of information, but what you're going to be looking for is upload inspection images slash documents. It's going to be right next to the request an inspection button. So from here, it'll take you to this page where you're going to fill out a lot of the information, any comments that you want to leave for the inspectors, and then down below in the inspection files, this is where you're going to upload those images. So it's still like the old dashboard where you can only upload three images. However, if you want to upload more than three images, we encourage you to actually combine some of those pictures into a PDF file, and then when you attach that, that's actually going to allow you to share more than the three images. So the functionality is pretty much the same as the old dashboard. It just looks a lot different and some of the buttons look a little bit different, so we wanted to show that to you. Hopefully this video helps you with the transition to the new dashboard, but we also want to encourage everyone to just take some time, sit down, and actually try this new dashboard out for yourself if you haven't already. The changes that have been made and the enhancements that have been made to it um, are already being used by some contractors. The feedback's been great. Um, I just encourage you to get on, um, you know, dig in, learn the new system, you know, un understand how each one of the tabs work. And like I said, af after doing so, you're gonna love it.